the surface, echinoderms are equally unusual. The sea star skeleton is nothing like our own. Just beneath the skin lies a latticework made up of thousands of bony platelets. They're woven together by minuscule muscles which can flex the arms in any direction. They have incredible strength and endurance. A special protein allows them to lock their arms in position effortlessly for hours, something our muscles could never do. Instead of a brain, echinoderms have a nerve ring, a living relay station. It acts to coordinate the movements of their arms. How do creatures built on such a simple design, so different from our own complex bodies, manage to survive and even thrive? Echinoderms move and feed like no other animals on Earth. They use remarkable organs, completely unique in the animal kingdom, hydraulically powered tube feet. The tube feet of sea stars are inflated by water drawn into the body through a single opening called a sieve plate. The water fills the five radial canals which run down the length of the arms, forming a hydraulic system. The water is stored in little muscular bulbs. When a bulb contracts, it forces water into the elastic tube foot, extending it. Muscles on the foot swing it in the direction the sea star wants to move. Sea stars can move equally well in any direction, but they must coordinate the movement of thousands of feet. Used together, they have incredible strength. Sensory tube feet sweep over the tightly packed mass of shells, searching for any gap in the muscle's defenses. Settling on its victim, the sea star hunkers down and begins its attack. The first wave of the assault begins with the tube feet, which use hydraulic pressure to pry open any gaps in the muscle's shell. Next, the sea star deploys its most unusual weapon, its stomach which moves out of its body to digest its prey alive. 